The purpose of additional cost invoices is to account for product related charges from different suppliers, such as transport costs or custom duties. These costs will be added to the cost of items purchased from the original supplier without affecting your quantity on hand. How you add these costs is as follows. First thing to be aware of is the fact that the additional cost invoices need to be captured at the same time as you capture the supply invoice for the original items. This is to ensure that the average cost of the items is correctly updated. This is because the average cost of items is never updated when you edit a supply document. To capture additional cost invoices, you will begin by capturing your original supply invoice with the items that you have purchased. If you have incurred costs that relate to these items that you would like to include in your costings, then click on the green link below the invoice grid that says additional costs. Here you'll capture your additional supply invoices such as transport costs to bring the goods to their final destination, as well as customs and clearing charges if you're importing the goods from overseas. In my example, I've incurred both additional transport costs and customs duties that I wish to assign to the items that I've purchased from the Global Bikes USA. The additional 35,000 Rand from these two invoices has been automatically allocated to each line of the supply invoice. These can be seen by scrolling right on the invoice grid. The additional cost will initially be weighted based on the value of the items purchased, but you can choose to weight these costs differently. This will now record a purchase value and an average cost of the item inclusive of the additional costs. Once saved, the three supply invoices will display separately, but the two additional cost invoices will show that they are linked to the original supply invoice. Thank you for watching.